ladies and gentlemen. Coming at you live from Steel Hall Ice Arena. This is Hockey Night in Fredonia. Jared Belschwander with you, along with Kevin Syracuse. Welcome back to the broadcast. And his first time on air, Lucas Seeley. Uh, he'll be he'll be able to join us come game time. Uh, but we got Kevin with me here. How you doing today? Good. Glad to be back. I know. it's We've had uh, our game last week. Um, for, the unfortunate incidents in Pittsburgh canceling uh, the game the next day on the road for Fredonia. And, uh, oh boy, here they go with the lights. <laughs> uh, you're going to need your cell phone for that. <laughs> Turn those lights up. Um, yeah, just get time for a quick pregame here. We jump into things. Today's opponent, the Geneseo Knights, who in their opening uh, opening weekend, as we as we got underway last last Friday and Saturday, uh, came together. Uh, their netminder, Devin McDonald, stopping uh, upwards of about 35 to 40 shots. Uh, and Geneseo coming out scoring 18 goals on their opponent. Both games being shutouts against Kings College and Newman College. So, tough game. <laughs> tough look at the opponents, perhaps. Um, but uh, you've got something for us there. Yeah, and uh, this is a rematch of last year's Suniac Championship game uh, in which the Knights won 7-1. to Right. And they have, they only lost two players for due to graduation last year. So they are they are back. And uh, as you said, Jarrett, they, they are back with some firepower. Genese- Eight, yes. 18 to nothing in two games. Geneseo uh, super uh, look excited out there to be, the, be on the ice. <laughs> they come um, into uh, tonight's game. They're ranked number three in both USCHO.com and D3 hockey polls. Right. Geneseo as f- on fire as always. Um, shoot, I was just going to say something. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. All right. No. Oh, a little tip of my tongue. This is awkward. All right. Yeah. And uh, for Fredonia... Lay it on me. Their, <laughs> last week, uh, Friday in their season opener, they d- defeated Chatham, who was just uh, this is just their second year as a hockey coach. Yes. They defeated them seven to three. Jacob Hines uh, recorded his first career hat trick. Yeah. Luke Rivera had two goals. On, in a return, he didn't play at all last year due to an injury. Rivera. So, yeah, Luke Rivera. Oh, that's right. Yep. Um, yep. So he's back. So he's he's uh, back, and he got, he got his he got his uh, cashed in his chips at the start. And uh, Ethan Kerbis got his first career collegiate Kerbis. goal. He's a uh, freshman. And Victor Tracy also got uh, scored a goal for the Blue Devils. Right. Uh, n- another, and Bogart, who I fully would believe is handed the start tonight. An excellent showing as well on the ice. Uh, really just standing strong there in the ice, um, in the net. And uh, a couple other notes on Geneseo. Last week in their... And their 10 to nothing season oh, yes. opening win. Nine Knights were credited with at least one goal. Yeah. And they finished with 58 to 9 shots on goal. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Devin McDonald, he only had to make nine saves. Right. And I, I, I remembered what I wanted to say. Geneseo and their game, I believe against Newman, they scored five straight power play goals. Yep, they were five for 10 on the power play. Uh, and then for that game, this, this is uh, their back-to-back shutouts to start the year. Uh, the first It's the first time it's happened in the 44-year history of the program. Ah. I was wondering about stats like that. So that's... Yeah. It's definitely... I've, I've been looking back at Geneseo starts. They had some impeccable numbers uh, going off, but nothing of this side. The only thing really Fredoni's got going for them is their home record against Geneseo. Yeah, they have won the last two home meetings yes. against Geneseo. So we'll uh, we'll see if that, what carries them out. We're going to step away here uh, if you've got nothing else to say. I have some uh, other notes on Geneseo, but we can do those after All right, the, yes, we can start, the National we can Anthem. Hang lineups. on to those. Yep. Anthem's, anthem break coming up here on Fredoni Radio. Uh, we'll be back at you with the, with the start of the game here. We got Geneseo here against Fredonia. 
Uh, coming at you from Steel Hall. So, yes, this is WCVF 88.9 The, vo- 88, the Voice, WDVL 89.5 The Inferno. Uh, we're uh, we're going to come at you at that box cast. And, of course, we got WNYF TV down here today, Channel 8 on campus. And, of course, YouTube Live. Search up WNYF on YouTube and click on the live stream for tonight's hockey game. So we'll catch you on the other side here. We'll be back in just a few moments. Taking ourselves back to Constantinople, <laughs> Istanbul, not Constantinople. Oh boy, yes, hockey night in Fredonia is here, coming at you live on. Go to, let's go down the list here. We got WCBF 889 The Voice, WDBL 895 The Inferno, WNYF TV, YouTube Live. Uh, welcome into those viewers as well. I believe you're just joining us. Thanks for being here. And of course, we got Boxcast. Good old Boxcast. Good old honorable, venerable Boxcast. So, oh boy, Coach Meredith, back when we started up the season, forecasted this to be a quote bomb fest. <laughs> um, and I mean, I wouldn't doubt it, judging by what the numbers we've thrown around at the start of this game. Uh, you had something for us, I believe, Kevin. Yeah, uh, like I was saying before, they only graduated two players from last year's ah, yes. team. They finished 26 and three, and uh, they're in the hunt for their third conference championship <laughs> since 2014. For Geneseo's a top quality team, and we're going to see that right here in front of us today as the puck is away. Game on between Fredonia and Geneseo as Luke Rivera sends this one down. 
Starting in net, of course, Kurt Genesio. We got Devin McDonald with those that 18 nothing collective shout out over the weekend. And for uh, Genesio has the puck as we come out of the zone. Coming across the blue line there. That was number 21 for Gen Geneseo there. Andrew Romano. In behind here, number three comes up the ice, Mitch Ferguson. Tips it in behind. Anton Rosen with the start today. I, uh, I was incorrect as we got underway, but there he was on top of the list. Not used to these sheets. <laughs> so we got Rosen as we kick ourselves off. And uh, this is Rosen's first start the weekend. Bogart had theoretically probably both games last weekend. Start off there, number uh, three, Mitch Ferguson. Sends it down the ice again, trying to spring Brendan Miller for Geneseo, but it's not aligned on his stick. Fredonia sends it up the other way. Tipping it up was Charlie Manley from the inside of the red line. Bit of a scrum behind the net. Geneseo tips it back around the other way. Here comes Anthony Mara. Trying to send it across ice for 12 there. Can't connect. Brendan Miller isn't able to get a shot off. Number 44, Cam Russell sends this one down to the inside of the blue line behind the net. Tip forward for Jimmy Morgan. Trying to score at the ice. Dishes around behind him there for... That's Ryan Dunner. Can't collect. Sick cross ice beat. Trying to score. They do... Right off the bat, Geneseo gets a goal. Tyson Empey able to find the five hole under Anton Rosen. And as we start this game off at 18.30 here in the first, Geneseo has a 1-0 lead. Yeah, Rosen made the initial save on that, <laughs> but he uh, gave up the rebound, and he was he was able to put a five hole. And uh, yep. just like that, Geneseo's up 1-0. Unfortunate. Unfortunate early opportunity. Quick uh, note on Geneseo. They finished last year ranked sixth, sixth nationally with averaging 4.31 goals per game and fifth with a plus 2.24 average scoring margin. All right. Going around, coming around his own net. Brendan Spugnardi for Fredonia. Tip back the other way by Geneseo. Spagnardi trying to tip it behind him as he collects behind his net. Number 39 doing an excellent job of coming up the works. So we're at the far side of the boards there, 27. Will, Ch Will Campion tips it up there. Kyle Hartman can't clear, can't clear from the blue line. Fredonia sends it back the other way and it's not goes for icing. Some uh, other notes on Geneseo. Seven 20-point scorers return, including 30-point, oh, uh, <laughs> uh, three 30-point performers. The, new, oh. the news for Geneseo never seems to end, does it? No. <laughs> A fantastic team, it would seem. Off the draw, Geneseo controls. Number 19 has it behind his net. That's Dan Bosio. Yes, Bosio. Tumbles behind the other way again. Spugnardi stapling. Osio to the boards there. Coming around again. There's a shot from Ferguson. It's sent away by Rosa. Behind the net there. Here come the Blue Devils from the inside corner. Knocked off the puck was Valentine. Gives this off to Dunn, who goes up the ice one-on-one -on -one with Ferguson. He's able to get the edge around him. But... Devin McDonald gets the stick on it out in front of the net. Geneseo simply collects and comes back the other way. Ferguson once again on the puck. Stops up at the blue line. Dishes it in there. Charlie Manley collects behind his own net. Passes back to Hugo Gamesh. The sophomore. This is, uh, this is I believe, Gama I believe this is Gamesh's first appearance on the Blue Devil roster here. Those 30-point scores that I was previously talking about were uh, Conlon, Ke Conlon Keenan. He had 18 goals, 21 assists, 39 points. Right. Andrew Romano, who had six oh. goals and 31 assists for 37 points. And Ty Tyson Empey, 
who had 21 goals, 15 assists, and 36 points. And they are all back. Good to know. <laughs> Geneseo really bringing those numbers. Here comes Geneseo. Geneseo trying to push this one. He winds up behind the net for Donia. Shot on and up. Gamesh, or Cam Russell, rather. Trent can't tip it on net fully for Donia. Gets a stick in front of it, trying to advance it off the blue line. Down there was Jelinski. Jelinski instead, instead of trying to make the pass and turn and hit down at the blue line, that's going to put Fredonia down a man. Obviously, uh, not what you want if you're the Blue Devils. Geneseo yeah. comes in 6 for 12 on the power play in this young season, and they're they're good enough when it's 5 on 5, let alone 5 on 4. Right. Yeah, Geneseo has definitely controlled the gameplay so far. <laughs> Welcome, Luke. <laughs> not surprising. <laughs> uh, clearing it off. Off the first play, it gets cleared all the way down the ice to McDonald. Tipped up the blue line. Ref puts his arm in the air. Geneseo on the man advantage. Ice is their own play. We were set down. Going to face off at the right of McDonald. Coming up at the face off there. Geneseo wins that one. They have control of it. Anthony Mara has it back. Coming out of his coming out of his own inside corner is David Schmied. He gives it to number nine, Tanner Salisbury. Tries to make a neat move coming in off the blue line. But Fredonia stops him in his tracks and dishes it back. Compion from behind the Fredonia net dishes it out in front. A one-time shot. It's blocked up in the air. There's another call coming after the whistle. Looks like uh, another penalty for Fredonia. Looks like they're they're. Uh, I don't know. It seems like they're uh, a little over anxious. You know, it's yeah. a rematch of the Suniac Championship and. Geneseo's ranked nationally number Definitely. three. They were, they were, from the very start, they were hyped up about this. And so the, the butterflies are certainly going to get worked out here as Rosenberg's going to take a seat in the box. Ryan Rosenberg, two minutes for checking from behind off the faceoff. Ferguson and Salisbury at the blue line. Dipped to the front score. Tyson Empey with already his second goal of the night. A five-on-three goal for Geneseo, and we are now at 2 nothing. Yeah, Fredonia has just got to do a better job. They, they just got to you know, calm down and, and uh, get back to playing their game because, <laughs> like we've been saying the whole right, during the whole broadcast, uh, Geneseo is a dangerous team. They've just been all over the place. haven't been able to control the puck, control right. the gameplay at all. That goal coming off a, essentially coming off a uh, trickle between Rosen's pads. Uh, so to, uh, Anton Rosen can be a little antsy himself out here as Geneseo starts this game bearing all fangs. Entering the blue line here, Fredonia trying to tip, trying to do all they can to just manage entry now as Jimmy Morgan just simply tips it back down the Fredonia to the Geneseo end of the ice. Ferguson crossing the red line, passes back to number eight, who's forced to pass back again. Dougie Larone can't make a play out of it on the inside of the Fredonia zone. We're now behind Devin McDonald. On the side of the ice, making a Ferguson. Again, passes back. This time, back to number 10, Colin Keenan. Jenna's play seizes up at the blue line. Has to tip it in. Into the corner. It was Manly, I believe. Yep. Geneseo trying, setting something up for here. Ferguson with a shot in. It's Tanner Salisbury at the blue line. Trying to make a shot. Another chance. Salisbury gets a pass from behind the net, but he trips up on the ice and can't complete this pass. Fredonia turns around. Dishes it the other way. Ooh. 
The Knights reassemble themselves behind McDonald. Going four men up, here comes Kelly. Dishes it from out behind the net as it tumbles. About the puck is bouncing all over the place. Ferdoni manages to clear. And uh, the penalty expires, so Ferdoni's back to even strength. At long last. As Gamache doing a good job of maintaining Fredonia possession here as they try to fight their way out of their own zone at the blue line. Hit up by Burnett. But Gamache is able to stand tall and dump, dump the puck into the corner. Salisbury comes out of it for Gen comes out of behind the Nizent for Geneseo. Crosses up at the blue line, dodges a hit by Todd Schaus. Simply dishes it from in from the blue line. Hugo Gamache turns it around, behind his net to Manley, to Lucas Rivera. Turning it around. Here come the Knights in inside corner. Kyle Hartman from behind the net passes up to Larone. Forced back, Hartman waiting at the blue line to pass it. Here comes Helmuth passing up, trying to get a play at the blue line. Another Fredonia player, it's Jimmy Morgan, gets tripped up. Anton Rosen eats, eats a shot from the blue line from number five, Chris Prania. This is going for the save. You know, another thing I realized about Geneseo is their, their passes are really clean and crisp. They, you know, a lot of times the Fredonia defenders are caught turn around because they're yes. so quick with their passes. So Geneseo excellent on the passing front here today, today so far. On the inside corner of the Fredonia zone. It's a huge mass of players, two on two. Pucks slips free for Ryan Gunner, who's going to try and get that forward for Schaus. Hugo Gamash there, picks it up from inside, outside the zone rather, dishes it in. Housing over the other side here, here comes Helmuth, offside. As it winds up behind him, Lewis is blown. Fredonia's definitely looked better defensively since coming out back on even strength, but offensively they can't seem to get anything going. Right. Off the faceoff. Comes a shot from Geneseo's Tyson Empey. Already on hat trick watch. As Rosen stops a good second attempt there from Empey with his pads. On the top of the boards, Geneseo trying to force this one forward. Dunn denied entry at the blue line. Well, that was Anthony Mara there. Crossing sticks. Geneseo with a shot, a chance, sneaking their way in. A safe body check. There sends Geneseo player gently into the boards. It's for Dunn, you trust to defensively collect themselves. Now... Retreat back into the inside corner, an easy peel off. Trying to get cross ice was Polichuk, but it, he hits the shoulder of Tyson Epi. Sent all the way up to the boards there. That's Dougie Laurent. Sending it back down the ice. Epi on the inside corner. Ferguson at the blue line. Puck is tipped up by Fredonia. Trying to get it to Jacob Hines, trying to spring him. He can't, he dishes it to open ice where no one in particular was waiting except Geneseo to sweep that up and retreat behind their own net and collect themselves once again for another attack. Dougie Larone there. Looking for, looking for an exit point. Here's trying to get it. To Ferguson. Here's Corsican Barley. Power over to Schaus. Barley again. He can't make it. Corsican Barley. Trying to get a shot on net there. Another chance was coming there for Lucas Rivera, who gets stapled into the boards. He's down. Boarding call coming here. Didn't exactly see what happened, but it looked like he got shoved awkwardly into the boards. It looked like his uh, left shoulder, shoulder. Shoulder, neck, yeah. top of the shoulder into the boards. Yeah. So, uh, and I mean, that's Lucas Rivera, who he's just 
uh, just gotten back onto the ice after almost a, nearly a year's absence from Blue, Blue Devil play here. So Fredonia on the power play. LeGron's the boarding penalty victim. Here's a secondhand chance there from Ryan Dunner. But McDonald was, uh, was, had eyes on it. Got his pad across the ice in time to seal the post. In the opposite corner here. Up the top of the blue line, passing it down. Trying to make his way into the circle. Dunner to Manley. A shot in. Gets handcuffed up there by McDonald. Behind the head. Dished around all the way. Charlie Manley picks it up at the inside blue line. Up from Tracy to Manley. Cross ice to Morgan. Inside corner gets tripped up. Here's another, another call. So Fredonia for a, a minute, 11 seconds, will be on a five-on-three five advantage. Here's, I think, a good opportunity. Let's uh, say, you know, put your head back in this match. Say, we're here. It's we're excited. To see Luke Rivera is back on the ice now. Excellent. It, it'd be great for Fredonia to get a goal here. Up, up uh, right. two men and down two goals. Two for two here, but Geneseo is looking for something. That's 39. Arthur Gordon trying to force this one all the way down to the other side of the ice. Rivera has the puck going over the blue line, trying to sauce it to Dunn, but can't find a good pass. Dunn deck to the blue line of Freeman there. Freeman, a shot from the inside. A square up, shot square off the pads. Freeman inside looking for it. A nice... One-time opportunity from Tracy, but can't make anything of it. Freeman. Inside corner for Haynes. Trying to dish it forward. A, an open net, but it bounces just neatly past the opening. Over side, Geneseo will get a clear. Nice hit from Luke Rivera. Finishes check. Hard check, too, into the boards. There you go. Ten seconds on the two-man advantage. Nearly a minute on the other. Fredonia comes up the ice. Five across. H hanging back was uh, was Manley. Loose puck all the way through, but Geneseo Larone has this chance. Rosen's able to get out and check it away, but Geneseo has the chance. They score. Off the panic was Colton Keenan. And a shorthander comes for, for the Knights. Their leading scorer from last year who had uh, 39 points last year. Well, and he goes again. <laughs> yeah. So two out of their three 30-point scorers have already scored tonight, and MP has two of them. But that one, it, Rosen came out of the net and uh, played the puck, and it looked like... It looked like... Uh, All right, Fredonia uh, uh, lost track of it after Rosen was able to tap it away. Yeah, Keenan had a breakaway, and... and uh, the puck went a little too far for him to get, and, and right. Rosen came out to play it, and it looked like uh, Fredonia is going to going to be able to recover and you know try to set up their power play, but Genesee was able to get the puck back and uh, right. and uh, Keenan put it in the top left corner right past Rosen. That was a it was a, it was a good looking goal for how by how off the hip it came. It's like a timeout was called here by Fredonia to figure out what's right. going on with them. I mean, if I was Fredonia, this is something I would have expected. Um, not to go out naturally and not read your performance, but for Geneseo to come out here, just guns absolutely blazing. Just, they've grown a second pair and they're just going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I mean, this is a, it's up to Fredonia now. I mean, this is what was in the cards. This was on the scouting report. Off the draw, off center ice. Manley has it behind his own net. They reset, come up the ice, five across. Good meet, passes offline for Kervis. Ethan Kervis out there now. I know. Winging home with Tracy. 
Fredoni collects out front of Bogart. Rope up three, up three and two up the ice. Circles around the boards for Ethan Kirbis. Charlie Manley tries to make a play, but it tumbles out of the zone. Geneseo comes up ice. Here's a simple shot and a simple goal by Ryan Burnett. Fredoni's just been lazy with their passes, it looks like. That was that play right there was very uncharacteristically lazy by Fredonia. <laughs> Geneseo is just scoring with ease right now. It seems like whenever they take a shot, it goes in. All right, these last two plays have been rel mostly manageable. I mean, Fredonia, they would certainly be out there. They're certainly out there trying. But uh, Geneseo certainly really just eyes to the puck. Just every opportunity is just clearly laid out for them right now. And here's Fredoni in the zone. They throw it at the net. Jelinski from behind. McDonald. A loose pass goes cross eyes. Here comes Mike Freeman to collect it. Tipped up by Jelinski. Trying to spring Colin Valentine. But he was beaten to the corner by Kyle Hartman. And now the whistle. We'll head down the other way. Fredonia going to change out lines here. 6-11 left in the first period. Geneseo is up 4 to nothing. Shots 11-7 for Geneseo. <laughs> Off the draw we come. There's Brendan Spagnardi out there. Tipped up the glass by uh, Captain Freeman. Bobby Palchuk trying to sneak his way around into it. But he was beat by Will, Camp Will Campion. We'll have another icing reset. Good luck to the uh, women's volleyball team as uh, right. they're in the Suniac semifinals right they now. They are embarking tonight as against well. Against Geneseo. Against Geneseo. We'll, we'll take a look at that in the uh, intermission here. As Geneseo has a shot in on net. Anton Rosa makes the save with his glove. So Fredonia Hockey is playing Geneseo. The women's volleyball team is playing Geneseo. And a few days ago, or actually uh, last last Saturday, the women's soccer team lost to Potsdam in yeah. the playoffs. And the women's volleyball team beat Potsdam. So they've been, uh, they've been double up, of, doubling yeah. up on SUNY opponents yeah. here in the weekends. Geneseo also able to, um, in the track and field playoffs event they had over the weekend as well, that last weekend, Geneseo took some credits in there. I believe winning. Here comes play. It's worth but going back and forth here between the blue lines. Fredonia's uh, Luca Vera goes up ice with it. He gets stripped of the puck as he tries to go into the corner with it. Geneseo turns it around. Here comes Arthur Gordon sending it on net, a shot. Players collapse, but there Anton Rosen sends it going the other way. Of course, Korshigan Barley trying to go up by so that one on one with Ferguson. Passes across the ice to Keenan. Geneseo has it going up ice. Keenan out in front with a second player trying to stuff it home. Anton Rosen seals it. Good job by Rosen, not giving up the rebound on that because as we've seen earlier in this game, Geneseo will pounce on those pucks and put them in the, in the Geneseo, back of the net. Geneseo is very eager to find rebounds here. Yeah. Reset, faceoff coming to the right of Anton Rosen. Off the faceoff, Geneseo Salisbury has it at the blue line, passes it into the zone. I was trying to set up Keenan, but Fredoni is able to defuse that play. It goes up ice. Fredoni loses control of it, but bounces back and forth between the Geneseo corners. Ethan Kirb is doing a good job of getting in front of that. Just keep that inside. Brian Thunner trying to defuse this bomb and trying to get it out of the ice, but it is sent out of the zone. Going back the other way, Ethan Kirb is Trying to collect that from the inside boards. That loses chance. Here's Geneseo trying to catch Fredoni on a change there. That was number 19. 
Dambazio. For the shot. Kelly and Bazio trying to do another one up. Collect it off the blue line. Roll ice here. Kyle Jelinski trying to collect it off his stick there for Fredonia, but it's bounces up. They reset. Try and spring two players going up ice. Hustling in there. This is Fredonia's number 13. Uh, Matthew Gorey. We now wind up at the other side of the ice. Todd Shaw selecting to hit uh, Tyson Empey there. Try and advance the puck forward here. Hand it to Mike Freeman who tries to tip it up off the boards and it's whistled down. Looking at 317 on the clock. That's the face-off draw will come. Of course, you can Barley there for Fredonia. He wins it there, get hands it off to Victor Tracy. Forces that one all the way down into the corner. Geneseo comes out with it. He's Mar He's Marina. Mara. Anthony Mara trying to travel up the blue line with it through the skates of Hugo Mesh. Hugo Gamesh. So then he resets. Ryan Dunn there trying to send, trying to spring Colin Valentine up ice. Geneseo turns it around. A shot on net from David Schmid. Shot, there's, there's a rebound. Anton Rosen can see it. Gets in front of it squarely. Final shot on net there for Donia. Stapling some players on the boards. Make sure that stays on the outside. Perhaps shifting their strategy a little to keep the crease clear for a while, let Rosen calm down. Valentine elects to dump in all the way. Tracio turns it around there. Ryan Dunn there cannot collect a pass from the net at the net front. From Fredonia's number nine. Turn around, go up ice. Geneseo trying to pass it. Comes in behind the net. Now that's number 11. Trying to turn around, Joe Serpio. McDonald has it out in front of his own net. Hands it off behind the boards. Given for Tyson Empey. Takes his way up ice. Lex to dump and Fredonia collect it, turn around the other way. Getting in the way of that progress was 21. Andrew Last Romano. And now at the final minute. Plays off the stick of Anton Rosen as it goes corner to corner. Finding his way out front there. That was Ferguson, a shot. Kyle Hartman from the blue line. It's whistled as it goes out of play. We set up the circle. Oshigan Barley. Wins the draw once again there. Charlie Manley tries to send it up ice for Luke Rivera, but he can't find an outlet. Hugo Gamash tries to send just a spring Rivera at the other blue line. Geneseo collects just under 30 seconds here. Here's a chance. Back to Colin Keenan. Ferguson at the blue line. Dance down the line by Rivera. Likes to shoot into the corner. Round ice. Fredonia will paste this in the corner until time expires. It's saucered up out the center ice as the whistle, the whistle sounds. The buzzer buzzes. 
and Fredonia, after minimizing the damage, perhaps just a little bit, uh, comes out of this period uh, down four nothing. Yeah, we uh, we saw in this opening period how and why Geneseo is uh, yes. nationally ranked third third ranked in the nation, and uh, they they're just fast. They're strong with the puck. Their passes are clean and crisp. Their shots are right on target. Right. And uh, you, you can't give them a second. Hey, you can't give them more than one chance because we saw exactly. a couple turnovers that led to goals. Uh, uh, that re uh, the shot that Rosen gave up the rebound. They were right there. They pounced on it and put it in the back of the net. So this, this team is just really good in all aspects. Yeah. Um, I don't think... I don't think Fredonia going into their locker room here. Uh, I don't. Th I don't think they're surprised at all. I mean, as I've been saying, this has been. This is something they've known was very well in the cards to happen. Well, I don't. I think. I think they are a little surprised because. Right. Yeah. I mean, you come in the game. You come maybe into every surprised game. at themselves. I, yeah. Maybe is that that's well, fair to say? Yeah. Well. I honestly think that uh, you know they they thought that they could win this game. I mean that that should be the mindset of every game, yep, definitely. Uh, but yeah, they, you know they probably thought that they had a good chance. Came off of a good win last weekend. They're at home, right? Their uh, home opener, the Suniac home opener, is against Geneseo, <laughs> and uh, you know top of the play, list, playing right with off a, the bat. Yeah, playing with a chip on their shoulder. They're mad from right. last year's uh, championship game. So I, I think they are surprised that, that it is 4 nothing, and still, you know, we still have 40 minutes left in the game. Fair so enough. I think they're definitely surprised. Right. Surprised at the score, but Genesis' performance, maybe not surprised there. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. All right. Good stuff. Uh, might, we'll perhaps take a step away here, uh, but uh, Luke. Do you have anything further to say, I think? I think just Geneseo's whole system has been a lot more crisp so far this game. Yes. And Fredonia just can't seem to, you know, get anything going, anything together. Mm -hmm. uh, Fredonia, yes. They, uh, Geneseo's passing has been some fantastic yeah, most stuff. Definitely. And I Geneseo... Right. Leads the shots in favor of eighteen to seven too. Already, <laughs> already, already working up there. Um, yeah, so on pays for a high, a high shot, high shooting, high scoring game here. Fredonia. Uh, uh, I would assume uh, coming at the period here would be looking for just every chance they can find. So we'll see if that is the case here. If we go down the list. We got WCVF 88.9 The Voice. We got WDVL 89.5 The Inferno. That's where you are. Yes, sir. -ree. We got WNYF Channel 8 and YouTube Live. Head on over to YouTube.com. Search up WNYF TV. Find the live stream link. Click on that, and you got you got us right here, along with a neat little video feed by our campus television station. And if you're watching over on the Boxcast, hello to you too. So, ladies and gentlemen. This is Hockey Night in Fredonia. We've got Jared Belschwinder, Kevin Syracuse, and Lucas Seeley here with us. And we, uh, looking at a score of four to nothing for Geneseo, we'll be right. Uh, we'll be back at the start of the second as we make our way here into the next. So we'll see you next. Uh, see you in a few minutes. Thank you. For miles and miles and miles. When I sleep in the evening, oh Lord, there she goes, only in dreams, she's only in dreams.
She plays with the pieces of broken glass A barefoot impression left in the grass We wandered for hours and spoke for years Engaged in a box built of all your fears The lessons I learned I attempt to teach Those nights I spent thinking I never reach A boy where it all seemed to make some sense Gentlemen, welcome back to Steel Hall. Here of your home of your Fredonia Blue Devils. Currently looking at a four to nothing deficit here as they come back as they are making their way back to the ice for uh, uh, against Geneseo here today. The Geneseo Knights, uh, third ranked in the nation and in D3 hockey polls for the Suniac, and we got. Um, just eight now, upwards of what, 21 goals. 20, 20, 22, yeah. 22 goals in two games and one period. Right. <laughs> Yet to let That's up just on a single no goals goal. Allowed. Yet to let up a single goal. These nights are insane. <laughs> They're just, it's, and I mean, I hate, like, I know my role here is to be like Mr. Fredonia and like, go Blue Devils. But it's just so crazy to just see such a tight-playing D3 
three hockey team. It's they really have earned those numbers that we've been talking about here. And uh, we talked a lot about the offense. As for the defense on the, the goaltending, their goaltender Devin McDonald. He's a senior. Uh, he's the winningest goalie in program history. He has a record of 49, 12, and 11. And he was 19, 4, and 3 last year. And he's the Knights all time leader with a 915 save percentage. And last year he had a 927 save percentage. And right now he's still at 1,000. <laughs> oh, and also last year he only allowed 1.8 goals a game, which was fifth in the nation. Right. And already, I mean, at the start of coming tonight, split between the two, they are on pace for two goals a game, or uh, nine goals a game. <laughs> It's mind-boggling, and it's up to Fredonia now to come back at this. We got Eric got Bo- Bogart in net now. Bogart making his way to the net. And Anton Rosen, you know, uh, last year at this time, but he made an excellent start. And definitely, uh, he's, a, he's a man who can put out some impressive numbers. 14, 6, and 3 total. Um... But, I mean, Fredonia elects to uh, go with Bogart here as, we, uh, as they try to shake something up. You know, Rosen, there were a few goals that were his fault, but a couple of those goals, as we were talking about before, they were caused by, you know, turnovers or just turnovers, sloppy, sloppy rebounds. Sloppy puck control by right. the double doubles. And, yeah, rebounds and, you know, there are a couple of them where he couldn't really do anything about it. The but. third goal here on Rosen where he comes out with the stick check. The Devils had that perfectly under control if they just kept going with it. Yeah. But um, they, they're, they're letting Geneseo seep into these cracks in the play that perhaps they didn't even think about. So I think, I mean, I think the narrative of this game is going to become this is your taste of Suniac competition this year. As this one gets underway, let's hope we see some more firepower from this Fredonia team. Right. We are underway here in the second period. Blue Devils down 4 0 to Geneseo. A few seconds shaved off the clock as we reset the face off at center ice. Cortican Barley got the pronunciations down here. We're good to go. There he now is, number two. <laughs> Coming up, his counterpart there on the Geneseo set, number 10, Colin Keenan, the captain for, your, for the Knights. It's tipped in. And Oregon Barley sends the, sees this one behind the net. Bogart reaches back to s- seal that one between the pipe and his glove. Two stop, two stop, and start carrying to play here. As the faceoff comes in the Fredonia zone to Bogart's right. Bobby Polichuk, the one to win it. Trying to move that one forward. Bounces off Kyle Jelinski's skate. Bounces into the corner. Fredonia with a good play to send that one forward. Trying, going airborne was number eight, Dougie Larone, who was trying to glove it down to his own stick. But it bounced out of his glove and went offside instead. It's a wild play there. I think they're actually calling it the glove pass here. Could also be a guess. It was sweeped up by Geneseo player, so indeed a glove, a glove pass. They're off the board there. Brent, Brendan Spucknardi watches it bounce off. The board turns it around at his own blue line. Picked up by Kyle Jelinski. I'm going to send that into the Geneseo zone. LeBron. Or David Schmid bounces it around the ice. Anthony Mara. Back to Schmid at the blue line. That gives it back to Mara, who's going to circle the net. Going back around behind, trying to find it. That was Cam Russell. Is going for a cross crease, oh. a cross crease oh. shot, but it wind up going right into the pads of Bogart. <laughs> yeah, it slipped past him a little bit, but not enough. It, 
he uh, got up. He didn't know where the puck was. He got up, and it was sitting right on the line. So right. Inches away from being 5 nothing. Not to take the draw there. Here's Colin Valentine for Fredonia. <laughs> Against Genesios. David Schmid. Fredonia wins that draw. Valentine skates into the zone and simply dumps it on McDonald. Here comes Matthew Gorier for Fredonia. For Fredonia, who tips it up towards the center of the zone, but Schmidt gains control, skates it down across the blue line and behind the net. Valentine tips it up off glass over Gorier's head, trying to get that to Jacob Hines, who can't get around Geneseo's number nine, Tanner Salisbury. At the blue line was Ethan Kirvis dumping that one up over glass. It goes high in the air, but it stays in play. So the play becomes offside just at the red line. Face off assembling at the neutral zone, Ethan Carabas. Lining it up against Geneseo's Joe Scarpio. Fredonia wins the draw clean, dumps it in. Ryan Dunner in the inside corner. Forces that one up ice at the far boards. Flex a Geneseo pass for, uh, is Dunner. And back up in Geneseo hands though. Here's, here comes Gordon for the Knights. Stapled up on the boards there by Valentine. Or Morgan rather. As Geneseo's Gordon Helmuth takes a shot on net. Circling the net. And Rosenberg. Pulling up ice. Ryan Dunner chases all the way down into his own. Goes against three Geneseo Knights until Bobby Polichuk arrives to help. Lewinsky in there as well for Fredonia. So they go back and forth on the inside corner. Victor Tracy tries to pull it up back up the backboards. Trying to find Spugnardi at the blue line. But it's picked up by Geneseo. And they reassembled in their own zone. Waiting for exit. As Will Campion. He'll finally make his move. But it's interrupted by Fredonia. Able to find it at the blue line with Spugnardi. With Valentine. A shot on. It's wide by Freeman. Waiting out front. Freeman and Valentine. Freeman gets it. Valentine calls for it, but the, the pass doesn't come. Big hit there on the inside of the blue of the Fredonia blue line on Burnett. And behind all that was an icing call. I like the energy uh, the Blue Devils have come out with here in the second period. They're not letting Geneseo control the game as much as they did in the first period. Mm -hmm. Face off, stop, players for taking the benches. Geneseo calling a timeout here in wake of what seems to be perhaps Gen uh, Fredonia on the return to this game. I wouldn't necessarily see what warranted timeout here. Perhaps maybe if things got a little more intense from Fredonia, I don't. Probably the icing. They were out there for a while, they want to get a little break in. Fair. Still early enough that both sides can try and take a count. Things moving forward here as, as the time up is over for Geneseo. 
Ferguson and Morrill coming back up for defense. I just got to update that Geneseo defeated Fredonia in the first set of uh, the Ooh. volleyball semifinals. The volleyball semi, 17 to tw or 25 to 17. Good to know. We'll keep. We'll be keeping you updated on that here as best as we can. But here's a chance for Geneseo's number 10, Colin Keenan, <laughs> goes high over the head of Bogart. Yeah, we'll be keeping. We'll be keeping close eyes on that volleyball match for the, the uh, championship game coming tomorrow. So, uh, some quick turnaround for the for the volleyball players. Face-off coming there. As Cora, there is Corrigan Barley. He's thrown out of the circle. Replacing him will be Rivera. A shot in on Bogart off the draw. It's blocked with his pad. Here comes Todd Schaus with Barley. The inside corner knocked down by Ferguson. Top of the new uh, top of neutral ice. It gets turned back around. Rivera trying to get around Lerone. But he can't find it off the side of the goal. A shot from the blue line comes from Tommy Martin. Again has it at the top of the blue line. Trying to send a score. They score. The Fredonia Blue Devils get this get on the board. So I believe that was Todd Schaus who's able to collect the puck from the side of the net. We have, some, uh, <laughs> we have some smoke going off, too. Right, Looks the, like the smoke new, cannons. Yeah, got some uh, new equipment here. But don't get very, very excited off that goal, it seems. Yeah, and uh, the streak is over. Tennessee was finally allowed a goal. Yes. So the, the score. Blue Devils finally get through that it threw McDonald to the eighth period to allow it, of their season to allow a goal. But. Huh. Right. So with uh, 14:55 left in the yes. second, Fredoni definitely, was up Fredoni definitely playing with very, very much cleaner hockey out there. Yeah, they've they've uh, come out with a lot more uh, energy this period. And, yes. uh, there also seems to be a penalty coming up to Geneseo. So starting out after the goal, they're going right on the power play. Oh, a penalty on the goalie. Yeah. yeah. Tripping. A trip after the a trip prior to the goal, it would seem. So Fredoni on a man advantage, an excellent chance here, right off the bat to get two great goals here. And if they can, if they can score a power play goal here, the whole game is is, is changed around. And, you know, the, they're only down two goals. The mo momentum's on their side, and, and there's still a ton of time left. left. Ryan Dunner, it in that take that face off. He wins it. Manley passes it to Tracy. Back to Manley at the blue line. Cross ice here. Jimmy Morgan at the inside circle passes back to the blue line for Manley. Tracy winds it on net. Can't find it through. Trying to feed the other side. There behind the net was Ethan Kerbis, but he was unable to get around. Oh, play is back at the blue line. Manley down to the inside circle. Cross ice, a shot. It's wide past the net. Collecting is Manley. Banks it all the way around the zone. Go, go all the way back around the zone. Manley at the blue line at the inside. Back and forth, Ethan Kirvis trying to drag this one up the boards. Geneseo clears the full, the full 200. Tipped up. McDonald settles it down for Geneseo. His control at the inside boards, but stopped by three Geneseo players temporarily as, for, as Tanner Salisbury brings this puck into the zone. Bogart stops it, clears the rebound. Fredonia just tries to gather this play off the inside of their zone. Here it comes Ryan Dunn across the blue line. He's got Matthew Gorier there behind him, but it's shot out of play just above the glass. Into the netting. 23 seconds left on the power play. Very uh, very productive looking power play so far. Fredonia getting some excellent 
Back some excellent looks at the net. As it's wristed around here, Tommy Martin at the inside four. It's on the blue line for Fredonia. Freeman tries to pass into Hines, but he can't get it past Geneseo defender. Coming around the coming around the net with it. Here Freeman at the blue line trying to get it on net. It's dropped wide there. Excellent hit on Burnett to free up that puck by Tom by Martin. Geneseo's David Schmid shoots a shot in on Eric Bogart, but it's deflected high and out of play. Geneseo is back to even strength now. 12.49 left in the second. Already a notice, noticeably much faster period so far. As we go down the ice, Fredonia chases it all the way. Jelinski and Valentine. Valentine getting upended at, at the boards behind McDonald. Chasing that play there, Fredonia. Dancing around three separate Fredonia players. That's Polacek, Jelinski, and Val and uh, Valentine there. It was Anthony Mara, who was able to generate a, a shot off from the inside boards in on Bogart. But he's able to eat that clearly with his blocker. Great for the chest. Now looking at nearing 12 minutes to go here in this period. Fredonia with one goal on the board here. Now score at four to one. Geneseo setting up in the zone. It's tipped up by the skate of Spugnardi. Goes out of play. We were set for another faceoff. And Geneseo just won the second set in the volleyball match, 26 to 24. So they are up two nothing right now. Oh boy. Fredoni, Fredoni Volleyball already in a must-win situation, it seems. What is the best of? Which the volleyball, what's the best of? Five. So, if they get one more, it'll be over. Fredonia forces this one up the ice. Ferguson collects it for the Knights. It's in the inside corner. Ryan Dunner against Anthony Mara. Up off the glass. We're in the inside corner here. Coming out of coming out of his corner was 21 Anthony Romano for the Knights. Keenan forcing this one. And he gets turned back around. Bergoni has a chance here at blue line. There's Ryan Dunner shooting it in off his own man. And we're gonna throw it back on the power play. Another penalty in Geneseo. Looks like it might have been interference in front of the net. We'll get the call here in yep. a sec. It's Ferguson heading to the penalty bench. Number three for Geneseo, Mitch Ferguson taking the seat. A two-minute penalty. Geneseo penalty number three, Mitch Ferguson, two minutes for interference. Two minutes for interference, the call. We're going at the blue line. There's Gore out in the middle. Shoots it indirect off the boards. Trucking down the inside corner. Lucas Rivera behind the net. Looking for an outlet. Finds it down on the inside blue line for Gore. Freeman shoots it in. It's a wide shot from Jacob Haynes. Trickles off the pads and wide. Getting in, getting down from that shot from center is Tanner Salisbury for Geneseo, who receives it and clears it. Looks like it was cleared all the way down the ice and then out of play. <laughs> Looks like it hit the banners that's uh, hanging in the middle of the ice there. Banners, banners at center ice. The, the ice divider. Off the draw, Fredoni controls Manly at the blue line. A shot in it, bounces off the boards. Therefore wide. Tracy at the top of the zone, backs to, 
back to Manley. Ryan Dunner tries to shoot from the inside circle, but it's stopped again by Tanner Salisbury. Go five men up the ice. In one layer, there's Ethan Kirvis and get caught, getting caught up at the top of the boards. Geneseo clears this one down as we near the final 50 seconds of this power play for Fredonia. Manley's the man in the middle as he passes down to Dunner. A nice feed through the feet of Empey, but it winds up offside. Chance for a fantastic play there. Set for the face off there. Ryan Dunn. Going to take the draw against Colin Keenan. Trist down behind that. Here's a chance. A chance at a backhander over the shoulder of Devin McDonald, but it does not align. Jacob Hines with that opportunity. At the top of the ice. They're heading down behind Eric Bogart. Jack Ori misses the shot off the boards. He's able to get it as it bounces back towards him. Fredonia winds up chasing this puck a little bit. As they're back behind Bogart as they try to make their way out of the zone. Brian Dunn tries to pass to himself off the inside boards, but Tanner Salisbury eats that one right up, sends it the other way. We're down behind Bogart once again. Mike Freeman for Fredonia. Trying to pick it up. They send it back behind him. Sent all the way up from the inside corner there for Rivera. And by Rosenberg. At the top of the zone for Geneseo enters. But he's sealed off here. Got a two-on-two -two opportunity for Valentine and Polichuk. Who's sealed off at the top, just inside the top of the blue line. Forces to dump on net. But only has the chance again. It drifts up just oh just a hair off the 2007 Suniac Champions banner. And Fredonia chases this one around the ice. There's where in their inside corner. Rosenberg fights off Mara behind him. Dumps behind McDonald after crossing into the zone. Tommy Martin with a good shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder hit. Todd Schaus dances around David Schmid. But Schmid is able to collect that off the ice. And he's going to turn it around. Carries it up himself. A sliding block there by Todd Schaus. Eats it right off the ice. Geneseo with a chance here at the blue line. Campaya. A weak shot in. It's a chance. Bogart dances this one across the crease, and Fredonia carries it out. Outworked there was Jimmy Morgan. He goes out there. He goes out there to compile on there at the blue line for the Knights. Switches with Schmid. Tries to hand that off to Tyson Empey. Top of the ice. Back there's, there's Pena. Chris Perna for the Knights. Dances through his feet at the blue line. It's going to go down for an icing. I like the way Fredonia is playing this period on offense and on defense. They've been uh, able to generate a lot of shots on offense, and uh, their defense has been a lot a lot stronger. They, they haven't been uh, letting Geneseo do you know, as much as, as they were in the, in the first period. And Bogart's come in and done a nice job in, uh, in replacing Rosen. Right. Geneseo definitely um, having to work a little bit more. It would seem Fredonia handling the Knights' offense much better in the second period. As they have it off the inside corner of the Fredonia zone. It's sent around once again. No icing as collecting is Dougie Larone.
sprinting up ice with it. Hat receives his own pass at the blue line of the Fredonia zone as it bounces off the boards. Bounces off the boards again, this time leaving the zone. Trying to dance it up there at the, at the center dot. The red line, Ryan Dunner trying to dance this one into position. Geneseo picks it up, out from under his feet. Bounces it in behind Bogart. Spuck Nardi has to make a play of it. Oregon Barley tries to send one up the boards where Jacob Hines might have been waiting. On the Geneseo winds up icing this one themselves. We're looking at six minutes here in this second period. We set up for the faceoff here, Bobby Polichuk. In against Carson Kelly for the Knights. Up off glass, Geneseo sends this one, trying to spring Ryan Burnett. But Fredonia spoils the play. Okay. Bullied off the puck there was Tommy Martin trying to receive a pass from Victor Tracy. Bounced through the legs of Martin was Burnett there with the puck. It's deflected into the Fredonia corner. Retreats back to the red line where Taylor Salisbury was waiting for it. Tanner Salisbury. Moving in from behind Bogart, Fredonia. Trying to force this one out from the zone. Corrigan Barley. Hands it over to Rosenberg, who d dumps it off glass. Up. Oh, now we're behind McDonald. Tanner Salisbury. Tyson Bart. Tyson Ryan Burnett. A chance for Fredonia. McDonald was standing strong as Todd Schaus was able to find an opening coming across the net mouth. This is a great opportunity for Fredonia. Schaus was right in front of the net and he, he tipped it, tried tipping it in on the, the cross ice pass, but McDonald was in perfect position and uh, he, was a, he was able to stop that one from from uh, going in and making it a two-goal game. All right. Off the draw, Ryan Dunn sends this one, tries to get Luke Rivera, who winds up falling. Ends up tumbling off his skates for a moment. As a result, pucks in the inside corner. Geneseo trying to generate a play out of it. At the top of the ice there is Will Campion. They're battling in with Joe Serpio. Comes Hartman, who's hit by Rivera as he dumps the puck into the Fredonia zone. The whistle's blown as Hugo Ganache touches the puck. A call coming from the ref, it would seem. He's taking a seat on the Fredonia bench is Todd Schaus. Geneseo will, Geneseo will go back to the uh, power play. They are one for two on the power play tonight. They work their way. Here's a shot off the draw by Tanner Salisbury from the pool line. It gets turned around and dumped. McDonald collects it for Geneseo. Coming up on four minutes here in the period. Crossing the red line with it. He's down three ways. Here's, here's Tyson Empey at the blue line. Passes back to Lerone. Empey, Lerone, Ferguson switches with Lerone. Down to the corner, Empey, Ferguson. Up to Lerone, back to Ferguson. A shot, it goes wide off glass. is chased out of the zone. Spagnardi forces this one all the way back to the red line, forcing Geneseo to reset. But Empey and Ferguson have a good thing going here, and Ferguson scores. Just 
like that. <laughs> Back to a four goal lead. Ferguson, the the puck was at center ice and the Knights came back into the Fredoni zone and Ferguson was uh, skating towards the net, put on the brakes and uh, right, right after he did that put a nice wrist shot right above uh, Bogart's left shoulder. 317 here in this second period. It's now Geneseo 5, Fredonia 1 here. Geneseo, Geneseo seemingly back in control of this game after a power play. Salisbury tips it into the zone. Anthony Mara chasing after it. Goes off glass. Bounces around. Here comes Schmid with a shot. There's David Sisman going across the net mouth with it out in front, about between the circles. Fredonia steals this one. Valentine is taken down. There will be a call. Tommy Martin tries to get this one in between the the two circles for Fredonia, but the Bear Bulgar hitting the net for an extra man. But it's whistled down. And we'll go to four or four four apiece here. Uh, or, oh, oh, hello. All right. <laughs> Losing the loop. Someone's cutting off their circulation. <laughs> All right. We're actually looking at a, a power play for Fredonia here. And Fredonia is uh, 0 for 1 on the power play tonight. David Schmidt going to the bench for interference. We have Ryan Dunner being actually. <laughs> sorry, our stats didn't update yet. That's their uh, uh, live stats are again uh, taking the night off. It's, it would it's seem more than 0 for 1. <laughs> I thought that was weird when I said it. Yeah. Here's Manley at the blue line. Off the draw. Fredonia wins. Tries to get a cross ice for Dunner. On the inside corner. Taken up by Tracy. Or Ethan Kirbis, rather. Trying to shoot it neatly into the zone. No one's there. Able to turn it around in time. Geneseo clears out of the zone. They carried all the way up ice by Corden. Staple to the boards by Kirbis. Ryan Dunner collects, goes up ice with it. Tracy now crossing the red line into the zone. Jimmy, Jimmy Morgan staples Dougie Lerone to the bench. To the backboards. This Fredonia has it at the blue line. Pass back to Tracy, mainly at the blue line. Ryan Dunner again just out of his reach as it bounces off the boards over the head of Charlie Manley and this goes up ice nearing 50 seconds here in this power play as Fredonia readjusts themselves they go up ice trying to dance between three defenders he makes the shot there that's Lucas Rivera but it's Patted away neatly by McDonald. And now I see it again, two on two. We enter into the sec uh, last minute of the second. That's Ryan Dunner up there. The top of the blue line from Gorier. It's blocked by Lerone. Freeman and Gorier at their own blue line now. Trying to dance around Geneseo Ryan Dunn. It's stapled into the boards, but he's able to give it back to Rivero, who's coming just in time. Passes up to Spugnardi. Shot in, trying to get it cross crease, but it goes wide into the boards. Under 30 to go. As Freeman tries to untangle this one at the top of the boards, Geneseo now trying to staple it. Jelinski peels it away, tries to get it to Polacek, who might have a chance. Spugnardi a second shot off the skate of Geneseo, and time will expire as it's shot in behind the net of McDonald. And Geneseo sends it back and forth for a little bit of catch as the horn blows. And our live stats 
As the horde blows refresh. Finally updated. <laughs> okay, so it was... Now it is 0 for 4 on the power point right. for Fredonia. Ah, that's not what we were looking for. <laughs> All right. Yes. So Fredonia is able to finally pierce the in seemingly impenetrable wall that was Devin McDonald. However, the one goal was the only one they could muster here so far. As it's now 5-1, the two teams trading a single goal apiece. Overall, though, I would say a better performance from Fredonia. Yeah, you know, they, other than the last five, six, seven minutes of that period, they really controlled the second period. Uh, you know, like, like we were saying earlier, they're generating a good amount of shots. They're playing good defense. They're playing within themselves and not trying to do too much. Right, but uh, we just not saw, trying to overextend themselves, perhaps. Yeah. But then, within the last few minutes of the period, we just saw Geneseo yeah, turn, turn the heat up again. I don't Genesee know if it was Fredonia getting gassed or Geneseo just refound their play of the first period and were able to just kind of take over again. Right. Fredonia had a little bit of glimpse in the window, but might have lost sight of it. But I think what the important thing to take away from this period is that it's there. They know something works, so if they can take that little thing and turn it into a whole, say, 15 minutes of ice hockey, they still might have a chance to pull this game within reach. It's all about how hard these guys want to come out here and work, which, if I've learned anything over my four years here, is the Fredonia team is a, is a hard-working team. They may, it, may, it may fail to show sometimes at night, on certain nights, Kevin's going to chuck this puck. <laughs> I don't believe yeah, chuck it. A puck back. All right. Play-by-play -play of Kevin's I'll puck. I'll be right back. Fair enough. Oh, that's a real stinking puck. Holy crap. Ooh. Holy crow. Excuse me, kids. All right. Yep. That's happening. It, Let's... It'd be nice to see at least Fredonia come back and make this a respectable yeah. game. I think that's... It's certainly something to think about. And uh, we'll... I think we'll let we'll let them we'll let that sink in for everyone here as we we'll take a step back. We'll be back for the third period as we go down the list. 88.9 WCVF 89.5 The Inferno. Got WNYF TV YouTube Live YouTube.com. Slap WNYF TV up in that search bar. Find that live stream right there on their channel. Subscribe while you're at it. Help them out. Give them some bigger numbers there. And we got BoxCast TV right up here as well. So, uh, leave them wave for you a little bit here. Hello, that's me. <laughs> All right, folks. We'll be back. We'll be back here on Hockey Night in Virginia. We got Jared Belschwinder. We got Kevin Service. We got Lucas Seeley here. And we shall return.
gentlemen. Well, I'd like to welcome you back to Steel Hall Ice Arena. Where the Fredoni Blue Devils currently looking at a 5-1 to one deficit here against the visiting Geneseo Knights. Got Jared Belschwinder, Kevin Syracuse, and Lucas Seeley with you here on the call. On down the list, you're, listening, you're hearing this on WCBF 88.9 The Voice, WDVL 89.5 The Inferno. We've got WNYF TV Channel 8 on campus, YouTube Live, Worldwide, YouTube.com in that search bar, slam WNYF TV right up in there. You can find it right on the right on the top of their homepage, right for you to see. And of course, we got Boxcast right here, little Boxcast. You're, you're all we're all over the place. Our voices are going to so many people right now. It's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> just, just so many voices. So many goals for Donia's going to need to score if they want to be in this game. We're going to look at a 5-1 to one deficit. And um, I would say a hard work ethic here for this third period as there's something that's going to have to be the answer to what Geneseo's been throwing on up there right now. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what was that? Take his photos there, Kevin. <laughs> oh boy! All right, yep. I, w I was I was going on about how uh, I think Fredonia uh, coming into this game is going to have coming into this period is going to have to really uh, it's really nose to the grindstone kind of deal. We're gonna, we got it's going to be a lot of hard work. Yeah, I you know this game is I don't want to say out of reach, but it's definitely going to be hard to score five goals. Uh, especially on a team like Geneseo. So I think right. this this period is going to show, you know, who they are. It's going to reflect you know, yep. how, how hard good. they want to work. And faced with faced with a losing scenario yeah. for Fredonia, it's... Faced with the adversity. It's, 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 more, it's going to be more about the precedent they set now moving forward, how this how this team reflects in times of an adversity. How much heart <laughs> they're going to show in these <laughs> last 20 minutes to at least try to put... Right. At least one or two more goals on the board. Once they leave out there on the ice. <laughs> and uh, real quick, I got the update that the women's volleyball team lost the third set, they 25 did. to 22. Yep. So, so Fredonia's been eliminated in the second round when it comes to women's volleyball. Uh, great season, team. Uh, really yeah. impressive. That was a Suniac semifinal. Yep. So final championship final tomorrow. Final four in the in the Suniac. So great job to. Uh, yeah. Fantastic start to them. This game, on the way, just a little back, a little back and forth action here to start this period. As we uh, get back into it here, as Bogart waved down the icing. Bogart, Eric Bogart, and Devin McDonald back in net for their respective teams. Excellent. Welcome back. Welcome back to the game. Live stats. <laughs> Looking at the shots there, 28 to 18 for Geneseo. Fredonia on the high side of the saves column, 23 to 17. Going off the inside of the boards, we get Jacob Hines, Charlie Manley. Goes back and forth there, coming coming across the ice there. It was Valentine to try and make a play out of it. Handing it off to Ryan Dunn. But it's Eaton. But eating on the glove of Kevin McDonald. Face off coming to the left of Devin McDonald. As Fredonia will win it, Tommy Martin shoots this one from the blue line. It's deflected wide. Tumbles. Fredonia loses control of it. Geneseo trying to make a play of it. An excellent stop there by Martin. Going end to end, chasing that puck there. Shifting offensive to defense. So now Fredonia will get three men on two going up ice with Kirbis. Placed in there by Morgan. As the Blue Devils chase this one behind the net, but Geneseo turns it back around. Tommy Martin again appearing end to end as it seems. 
She gets it to Jimmy Morgan, who dumps it in, and Fredonia will change. Morgan Barley out there. Chasing it around. Here comes Brandon Spucknardy behind his own net. Bounced off the skate of Geneseo's Gordon. There Todd Schaus gets a good shot on that there. Rivera trying to seek it in. Todd Schaus trying to find it. There, Trent. Chance to get it through the skating pad. McDonald, but it does not go. Place now, Geneseo three on two the other way. Chance there for Gordon. He goes up ice the other way. Fredonia. It's caught up at the blue line. Gordon Helmuth stapled into the boards by Rivera. Or is that? That right. might have been Todd Schaus. That was Schaus, and he's going to go to the box yeah. for this one. Schaus taking another boarding penalty, it would seem. Looks like he's not too happy about that. Yep. Signal for boarding as it comes. I think that was a good call. The Geneseo player was... Trying to get the puck right, right in right. front of the bench, and he just he stopped st him from he behind. He stopped up. Using use some oh, names yeah, here. Gordon Helmuth had stopped up at the top of the blue line, and Todd Schaus then comes in for the hit. So not kind of the window for a hit on fair game. There it was it closed rapidly in front of him. Off this draw, Fredonia has control as they. They're a man down here as a two-minute boarding call comes. Geneseo now gains control of it behind their own net. It's Tyson MP going up ice, along with Dougie Lerone. Pass back to Colin Keenan. Pass down around at the red line. Lucas Rivera gets a hard shot in. From the blue line, but goes wide off the boards. A penalty kill will, will change out for Fredonia. About a minute of it gone. Crossing into the blue line on the zone. A shot in on Empey. High Empey in on Vogel, but it's stopped out in front to Ferguson. Cross ice down. A shot. Comes wide. Romano over to Empey. In front of Bogart, Romano and Epi will switch along with Ferguson. A shot. It's eaten down by the ankle of Colin Valentine in there. It's then cleared the other way. Turning it around once again. Geneseo sits there his own. David Schmied circling in. It gets lifted up. Progress is halted as we're now stapled inside the board. Inside the boards behind the net of Bogart. Shot wide to no one in particular. Passes through, get, falls through three layers and is then cleared by Corrigan Barrel. And that will end the, uh, the penalty too. Back to even strength here. There's a solid penalty kill by the Blue Devils. The inside circle at the blue line. Here's Taylor Salisbury. Schmid finds it at the circle. Tries to make his way behind the net. Gets sealed off. Salisbury dances at the blue line to keep it onside. Gordon there. Salisbury calls for the pass. The inside of the blue line. It's shot wide. A second attempt rebound is cleared, and Fredonia will try and go the other way with it. Trying to feed Schaus, who's hiding behind two Geneseo players. There we go. Little friendly exchange of words after that. Extracurricular Extra activity. Extracurriculars, <laughs> indeed. Tanner Salisbury was the one who made that block to send it the other way. 14.37 left in the, in the game. Not much constructively from either side so far. So so looking some, at some do solid defensive play by Fredonia so far with that penalty kill. The highlights um, so far, yes. Other than that, nothing much has happened. Right. Year. 
Macedonia looking to, looking to restart their play then. After that, after dealing with the penalty kill, hopefully something positive will come of it. The far side of the boards in the Fredonia zone, Geneseo's going to try and dance away with it. Moving into the inside corner there, Morgan with a big hit on Chris Perna. A whistle comes as the puck was freed from inside. Another penalty coming up here to Fredonia. Charlie Manley heading to the box. Fredonia's taken uh, too, too many penalties tonight. Yeah. I believe this is their sixth. And uh, talked about it earlier, you know, Genesee was already, already exceptional when they're five on five, let alone when they have a man advantage. All right. We saw it in the other games too, where I mean Geneseo able to score five penalty, five power play goals on ten opportunities, able to draw those ten opportunities destructively. I mean Geneseo already doing, seeing a run up that clock here. As I mean they just putting Fredonia in uh, situations where they're forced to make borderline plays. The refs are going to call those if they see. Them. So Larone. Enters in over the red, over the blue line into the Fredonia zone. Todd Schaus chases that one clear. He's able to push it all the way down the ice. He'll switch out. Genesio has the control in their own zone as they slow things down here. The minute left in the penalty. Tumbling over Lerone was Jelinski in slow and graceful style. <laughs> so they need uh, to tackle them. So their sticks get tangled up, yes. It's like a football tackle. He wrapped them up with his left arm. Fredonia in their own zone. Ma Martin almost gives that up to Schmied, who then has Gordon to come to his aid, and they will have possession of it here. This power play chance here. As Schmied gets tripped up, as he tumbles into the boards behind Mulder. Another penalty coming up to the Blue Devils. Another Blue Devil player going to the then. So with 29 seconds left in the first penalty, right. Geneseo will have a five on three advantage. It was a slow chance out in front of Bogart, but some great players in positioning. Geneseo once again draws an opportunity to get another man off the ice and into the box. Two minutes to tripping for Rosen. Uh, Rosenberg. Geneseo tries to set up, set, up, set up a nice triangle play there out in front. Another shot on net. This one comes from Rowland, but it's wide. One power play coming to an end here as we're now back to five on four. Bobby Polichuk tries to clear that puck. At the circles, Tyler, Taylor Empey tries to turn it around. Geneseo gets a, gives it up a chance going the other way. Here's Manley with Schaus. Geneseo is able to defuse that. Goes the other way. Chot Schaus with a loose, with a loose hit. Getting to the puck before Empey could was Rivera, and he turns the pass around. It's outside of the blue line. Campion has to, Campion has to reset here for Geneseo. Finds Arthur Gordon going in. Jelinski turns this play around. He gets sealed off by Campion. Geneseo gets the chance going the other way. Lucas Rivera gets a stick in, stops that play at the blue line. Nearing 11 minutes to go here. Some over the red line into that zone is Geneseo, but the whistle is blown. As the Knights were just narrowly offside. 27 seconds left in the uh, power play, too. Face-off coming as Victor Tracy out to get it. Tracy will win it. Over Anthony Amara. 
Colin Valentine will try and make something happen in the Geneseo zone. The Knights will control as they exit their defensive zone. The transition into the attacking zone. Schmid lifts it behind Bogart. As Valentine chases this one wide. Getting a hold of it is Tanner Salisbury. Jacob Hines gets that over to Matthew Gorier. It's just a hair short of a chance. As it now comes out from behind the boards, there, Brian Dunn. Trying to hand that one to Brian Dunner, who gets that to Gorier. But it's a shot that's eaten up by the netminder McDonald. First save at 10.07. Here in this third period. Geneseo is now out shooting Fredonia 31 to 22. Off the draw at the blue line. Fredonia trying to make a chance out of it. As they have, as it's more, uh, Jimmy Morgan trying to chase this one around the ice. Players collide at the blue line as the puck tumbles the other way. Geneseo collects as a shot. Coming in from number 19 on the Dan Bosio, Dan Bosio on the Knights roster. It's handled nicely by Bogart. Resetting for a face-off. Corrigan Barley out there with Colin Keenan. Players will be ejected from the circle, though, as Schaus. And Aaron and Kirsten Kelly will take the draw. Trickles out in front. Bogart makes, a, makes an excellent stop there as it was coming to the net front. Todd Schaus tries to transition off the save, but it's deflected out of play off of some stick play. Drinking, but moving through the neutral zone. That was a great save by Bogart. Puck, uh, Puck worked his way to Bogart's left, and he, he was able to stand tall and uh, make, the, make the big save. Off the face-off draw, Geneseo has control, but Tracy's able to get the puck off Burnett's stick as Fredonia looks to go into transition here. Here comes Polacek with clear real, with free, with free real estate in the inside corner. You know, Jared, uh, Bobby Polacek's a guy like Luke Rivera who was sidelined uh, most of the year last year too due to, due to injury. Right. So it's good to see both those guys back and uh, playing pretty well here. Right, even even through this, even through this rough game, they've been always willing to put their uh, put themselves ahead of the puck here to try and generate a chance. Arm in the air for the ref as Fernonia looks like they're going to take another penalty here. That's Polichuk to collect the puck. Finally, as the whistle is blown. Check at the butt. Polacek at the bench collecting himself, it would seem. That was a fairly long sequence. It's slowed down as it may appear to us. It's like Rosenberg's going to the box for the Blue Devils. Rosenberg once again in the box. Boarding. Boarding the call. I, th I think a lot of these penalties now. You can tell the, the Blue Devils are pretty angry at what the score is and, and how the game's been right. going. And uh, they've been getting more physical, but they've been getting too physical, and a lot of these times it's uh, right. turned into penalties. Tipping the balance a little too far towards the physical side, where if you want to play physical, you want to play physical around the puck. Yeah. So there's a lot of situations where you're seeing some relatively like out-of-phase out of hits. 
where Ferdoni is a little little late, a little behind on the play because Geneseo still, with this lead, is moving quite fast. Dipped up the ice. Salisbury at the blue line. Receives a pass back, a shot in. Bogart tips it wide. And high on. Cross ice. FSU the chant from the pep band at the far end of the stands. 47 seconds to go here in the kill. Campion at the circle. Gives it back to Salisbury. Looking for Arthur Gordon in the middle of it all. Back to Salisbury. Circle. Campion shoots it on net. It's blocked down. There by Colin Valentine, but Genesio still has it in the zone. Whiffed on the shot. It's David Schmid gives it back. Gives it back. It's in the middle of the net. Bogart's able to clamp down on it. Genesee has been able to control the puck here for the majority of this power play, but the Fredoni defense has been hanging in there and playing tough. And uh, getting getting in they're doing they're doing their best to really get away in the way of these shots. Yeah. And, the uh, puck has mel relatively been kept to the outside of the zone on the power play so far. As we're looking at 14 seconds to go. Yeah, as I said, and they've already killed off a minute 46 of this uh, penalty. The ref gets taken down by accident as the puck is cleared. As that's Russell to collect it for the Golden Knights. Or the... Just the Knights. Just, Vegas. <laughs> Just the Knights. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> uh, it's so easy. <laughs> At the red line. Here comes Geneseo's number 12 trying to force that play. A goal from Cam Russell. Just inside the blue line. Smack dab between the circles. Sneaks over the shoulder of Eric Bogart. Well, uh, we saw the first period that belonged to Geneseo. The eh, about two thirds of the second period belonged to Fredonia, and ever since it's been all Geneseo. They've you know, just found their stride that uh, they were playing with in the first period, and they've built their lead up to five now. Six to one is the score. With we're nearing six oh nine left. Nearing the same score from. Uh, this has been the faded rematch of when Geneseo faced Fredonia in the Suniac final. Well, it seems to be the uh, same, seems to be name of the game here as we as we move on in this third period. Geneseo in, in strong command here as play. Roll, rolls on here in the inside corner of the Knights zone. Ryan Dunner finds Freeman at the center blue line, but the puck rolls off Freeman's stick. Keller and Freeman collide in the inside corner. Jimmy Morgan collects the puck, navigates the neutral zone, and shoots it in on Devin McDonald from just outside the blue line. But when he tips it off glass, trying to find Jacob Hines. He's on the inside, Gordon Homer tips it up the zone for the Knights. As Bernie collects their own zone. Long pass to Ryan Dunn, trying to get that one to center, center for Charlie Manley. It winds up ricocheting about. The neutral zone as Fredoni collects in their own zone. That's Jacob Hines trying to find Bobby Paulichuk. Make an entry into the zone, but play does not connect. Geneseo has the puck inside their own zone. Helmuth for Russell. Keeps it in, Geneseo. Trying to keep as narrowly from escaping his own. Ryan Dunn, the puck is ju just far enough ahead of him that that Devin McDonald's able to leave his net and, and send it aside. Hel Helmuth for the Knights. Tips it for, tips it for Russell. Annoyed by Todd Schaus. 
Just enough to keep Lander on his own. Pass to Owen in particular through center ice. Brandon Spugnardi tips that one all right back into the corner. Tommy Martin gets to Spugnardi. Deflect by, Sha deflect by Schaus in on the net. McDonald resets. Rivera tries to dance around for Martin, who sends it on net. But it's, it loses momentum at the goal mouth. In behind, looking at 3.24 on the clock. MP gives it to Schmid, who goes up ice. He's got Mara with him. It trickles in. Mara loses a glove, and Bogart's able to hold on to it. Trap it between his pad and the stick. It only looked like they were trying to find some offense there, but they just weren't crisp enough with their passes. Well put. I think, for, I think for Union, they had something working on there in the attacking zone, but I mean, like you said, Luke, it's just it just doesn't seem to be there for Fredonia tonight. It's just near in that point where another giveaway you know, right there. Yep, it's just gonna have to be. It's just gonna have to be. <laughs> yep. Unfortunately, it's the same type of game as uh, the Suniac Championship last year. Right. And that's. Uh, no. Yeah, you got it's gotta be frustrating. But yeah. I mean, in here in the post game, I'm sure we'll get into all the details of how that's a good proper motivator moving forward. As we're behind the net. Geneseo buzzing with a couple chances there. Brendan Miller with a shot on that. Chris Prina. Turning himself around in his own zone, battling through three Fredonians before tumbling to the ice. In a check, Jacob Hines turns it around. He's got Kyle Hartman there to deal with. Hugo Gamash trying to find a, find a pass for him at the blue line, but no one can get it. He's able to turn that play around the, at the red line, seal off entry. That's, the pass is still able to get through buzzed out in front there was Carson Kelly trying to make a shot but he was defended quite nicely by Fredonia turning around as Bobby Polichuk tries to send this one back go clear as Fredonia guards the Geneseo exit making his way out Tyson Empey the shot on net. Bogart makes the makes the save. It's Joe Serp Joe Serpio. Minute 15 left in the game, and uh, if these stats uh, are updated, Geneseo is leading the shots in favor of. Uh, oh, there we go. Yeah, 40 to 20, 24. So Geneseo really still in control of the offense here. 41. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Geneseo driving high shot numbers. Where it's something I have something I don't think I've seen in quite a while where Fredonia I mean it really is, I think, mesmerizing just how well Geneseo has outworked the Blue Devils tonight. Yeah, they're just a they're a complete team and <laughs> they one of the most Cleanest Christmas teams. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're a force the to be reckoned. Yep. They're a force to be reckoned with this season. It looks Ranked like number three for in the some country. Re some reason, I wouldn't yeah. know. <laughs> oh, here's Gamash at the blue line, trying to keep this one going around. He's able to find it at the red line and turn it back. McDonald here with just under 30 seconds to go here so far. It's tipped up. Play around with it in the neutral zone at this point. Got Helmuth. Trying to find Anthony Mara entering into the attacking zone. Cork and Barley. It's sealed off at the door. Trying to find Schaus behind the net. A whistle with 11 seconds. And a penalty is coming. 
<laughs> With 11 seconds left. 11 Another second power play. Is going on the power play for the last 11 seconds of the game. Fredonia will end the game a man up. As, as Gordon Helmuth takes a seat on the bench. Been watching a little too. Looks like McDonald's not happy with how much Fredonia's been standing in front of him, standing in front of his net. Mm -hmm. Doing little shoves here and there. One solid chance here, but Genesio's able to send it down. Pretty much put this one to bed. As the buzzer sounds. And through three periods of hockey here at Steel Hall, the third-ranked national Geneseo Knights are able to put on a demonstration of impeccable skill, beating the Blue Devils by a score of 6-1. to one. And uh, now they are out, outscoring their opponents 24-1 to one this year 24 in three games. One. Yes, three games. <laughs> That's right, kids. Fredonia with that one goal piercing, <laughs> ending that shutout streak. Yeah. <laughs> Scored by Todd Schaus. Todd Schaus. Todd Schaus, who I don't believe uh, has had anything to go to date. Yeah, That's, that would be his first goal of the season. Uh, scoring 18 of them last year. In 63 games played lifetime. That's not 18 goals last year. That's 18 lifetime. That's how that. That's how that was read. Wow. Um, once again, it's the end of a Fredonia Blue Devils game, and I'm saying wow. Uh, <laughs> and for uh, Geneseo, Mitch Ferguson got a goal. Tyson Empey had two. Right, Empey. Conlon Keenan had scored one goal. Brian Burnett had one, and Cam Russell had a goal. Yeah, after that, after that first period of Tyson Epi getting those two goals, he's kind of got shut off. He didn't really see much more action the rest of the game. Right, Fredonia. So yeah, Fredonia locks on to him, but I'd say in this situation, it's perhaps maybe not necessarily worrisome to go with that. Todd Schaus is your player of the game, no less. <laughs> it's your Fredonia player of the Fredonia game. Fredonia player folks. of the game. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, boy. All right. I would say takeaways from this game is, I, I said it partway through the second, but here it is. This is your Suniac. This is your, your taste of the Suniac. It's your first game. So, so early on, it's not necessarily the end of the world that you've dropped this game. And, I mean, this is the learning curve at the end of the day. I think this is, I think it's a solid demonstration.